Hello, family and friends. This is Rob the Sapper Gardener representing Essiana's Family Garden. And welcome to our family, and we want to thank you for coming to spend a little time with us. Today we're going to do an episode of Chow Time that is inspired by one of our YouTube friends, Larry, over at Deep South Texas. So a couple of weeks ago, maybe three, four weeks ago when you see this video, uh, Larry did a carnita taco uh, video. And as soon as we saw it, I started craving it. So um, we planned out to get us some of the ingredients and I'm gonna turn you guys around and show them to you. And hopefully ours turn out as good as Larry's look. So let me turn you guys around and show you the ingredients. So we've got a few simple ingredients out here and starting from the top right we've got our pork that we've cubed up and we are using a, a country style uh, pork ribs boneless. We've got some water that we're going to use uh, to cover our carnitas as it's cooking. We've got some uh, rough diced, I'm sorry, rough sliced onions from the garden. We've got one lemon that we zested and then squeezed the juice out. We've got some oregano. We've got some cumin. We've got some coriander. Of course, some uh, pepper and salt to taste. We've got some minced garlic and we've got our cooking oil and Larry used lard. We're going to be using a vegetable cooking oil uh, that most people in the South are famous with if they grew up like I did. So we're going to get everything started and take you guys along. So first thing we're going to do is put our pork in the uh, heated oil. We've got our stove on medium high and we're going to brown our pork for probably about five, ten minutes. Once the pork is uh, well browned, then we're going to add in our onions and our garlic. We're going to saute those for a minute. Then we're going to add in our next ingredients. So we have cooked the uh, pork for about five, six, seven minutes and got it nice and brown and a little bit char on some of it. Now we're going to add in our garlic and we're going to add in our onions and we're going to cook that down for just a minute. Then we're going to add our other spices after it's wilted a little bit. We'll add our lemon zest, our lemon juice, then our orange <laughs> zest and our orange juice. And then we're going to reduce the heat down to uh, uh, medium low and simmer it for an hour or two, just stirring it occasionally. just enough water to cover the meat and depending on the size of your pot just adjust accordingly if your liquid cooks down too fast uh, just feel free to add it and then towards the end of the cook time you'll let the as much of the liquid uh, evaporate as you can and your carnita should be ready so we'll come back in about two hours and let you see the end product All 
Alright, the moment of truth. We've got our uh, pork carnita tacos inspired by our friend Larry at Deep South Texas. We've got some uh, Spanish rice and I'm about to give everybody a mukbang moment. Hopefully I don't spill it all on my shirt. So, we have to give it to our friend Larry. He gave us a great recipe, and it was fairly simple. So, that was really good. I'll save you guys a second bite because it might take me a minute to be able to speak again. <laughs> But the meal came together good. It was quick. It was easy. It just takes time to do the pork. So uh, SK1 has already finished his first one. What did you think about it? Very good. <laughs> Mrs. SG. It's got all the flavors. Is this the Deep South Texas uh, mm -hmm. meal or something? <laughs> yeah. He's perfected it over time. So Larry, thank mm -hmm. you for the recipe. And Robbie's got a chicken burrito over there. Uh, he had pea some pea crisp and some pizza and some uh, garlic bites. So some leftovers from another meal to go with his chicken taco. But I think everybody's happy. So we're going to go ahead and sign out. It's been a long day out in the garden. Where am I at? The light's all off me. So it's been a long day out in the garden. Uh, we got a lot done. As always, we've always got a lot more to get done too. So we're going to eat. We're going to have another uh, wonderful family movie night and enjoy time together as a family. So God bless our great country, America. God bless you wherever you may reside around the world, your garden, your harvest, your kitchen, your meals, and especially your family to have health, success, and prosperity. And God bless our friend Larry at Deep South Texas. Take care, zap her out, and... Escape to the Take care, everyone.